Hello, my name is Levent Shahin. I am a research scientist from Dr. Figueroa's lab in Lighting Research Center at Translate Polytechnic Institute. In our lab, we investigate the non-visual effects of light for various populations, including elderly with mild cognitive impairment and Alzheimer's disease. Alzheimer's disease is a progressive chronic neurodegenerative disease affecting approximately 6 million Americans and 47 million people worldwide. In 2012, the National Alzheimer's Project Act has set the prevention and treatment of Alzheimer's disease as the first of the five goals in the national plan to achieve by 2025. As of today, however, uh, there are no drugs that prevent or cure Alzheimer's disease. Therefore, non-pharmacological treatments, particularly those involving neurostimulation, are becoming a growing interest. Neural oscillations are the rhythmic activity of large populations of neurons that we can measure using EEG. Gamma, being the universal operator, is involved in attention and memory processes. It is also a sign of healthy brain activity. Indeed, we know that the gamma power is disrupted in patients with Alzheimer's disease. These brain oscillations not only modulate the responses to stimuli, but also synchronize with the external rhythmic signals like a flickering light. This neuroplasticity holds great promise that may provide therapeutic benefits for people suffering from Alzheimer's disease and related dementia. Recent studies using transgenic mouse models show that 40 Hz flickering light effectively decreased amyloid levels and plaque pathology and increased the macroglia response. Macroglia serves as an important service for nervous system to clear cellular debris and dead neurons in the brain. To date, however, none of the findings have proven to be translatable to humans. We know that many drugs worked on animal models didn't provide any benefits for humans. To this end, we first wanted to test the hypothesis on healthy individuals and conducted a feasibility study that is published in the Journal of Alzheimer's Disease. The primary goal of our study was to investigate whether red light flickering at 40 Hz would modulate the 40 Hz brain activity in humans. We invited nine healthy young individuals to our lab for two days separated by a week in a counterbalanced manner to either get 40 Hz flickering red light or stay in darkness. We delivered flickering light using a mask that we developed in our lab and participants wore this mask in both experimental days, but we energized it only during the lighting period between the pre and post exposures. We recorded participants EEG four times per session before, during, and after rhythmic light stimulation at the frontal, central, parietal, and occipital locations of the skull. Each data collection period included a working memory performance testing and a Karolinska sleepiness scale that used to obtain participants' level of subjective sleepiness. We found that when participants received flickering red light, the referred to hers activity significantly increased, particularly at a higher level at PZ and OZ electrode positions that are close to visual cortex, whereas no peaks were apparent before and after flickering light. The Fortier's power that was normalized to the power recorded before light administration was also significantly greater during light intervention compared to being in dark. Another interesting finding of our study is that there was a statistically significant correlation between normalized subjective sleepiness and normalized Fortier's power, where an increase in power reduced subjective sleepiness. As an important initial step, our study demonstrated that 40 Hz flickering red light can effectively increase 40 Hz power in healthy individuals. Our next step is to conduct studies employing patients with mild cognitive and Alzheimer's disease to further investigate whether we can successfully meet the needs of the millions of families currently facing this disease.